Damon, is this cold weather going to stick with us through the weekend? Can we expect any kind of, you know, some semblance of warmth to join us through the weekend? We were talking about it yeah. down in the newsroom and you said, why can't it just get warm on the weekends and not just some random Wednesday? Exactly. Who wants it to be like 60 degrees on a Wednesday when I have to work and be inside all day? Like, yeah. come and on. That's my short answer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. the cold's here to stay. It's going to be a little bit blustery too on top of that. So checking out those conditions outside right now. It's not the most ideal by far. You step outside and you feel like you're stepping in front of a massive hair dryer fan something because that wind is relentless and it has been through most of the morning and it's caused a few issues across the viewing area as well. We'll get to that in a second, but temperature right now is down to 36 degrees with the northwest wind at 18 miles an hour and that is making it feel even colder still on top of the current wind and check it out. These have calmed down a little bit since this morning, but we still have sustained winds of 21 miles an hour just to the north of Hagerstown near the airport. 33 is that sustained wind right now in DC and we have more locations scattered about with anywhere from 15 to 25 mile per hour winds. But look at these peak wind gusts. I showed you the graphic earlier on as well, but Martinsburg topping out at 60 miles an hour. Frederick Germantown reached a gust of 45 and DC hit a gust of 49. So it has just been downright windy, but thankfully enough so far anyway, we've only received about a handful of wind damage reports with those trees and power lines down, but it takes a while for these to roll in. There has been reports of power outages over toward Winchester as well. So that's going to continue to probably ramp up as we go through the rest of this evening. Now, at the very least, all of the precip with this system is gone. The cloud cover is going to be a bit stubborn, but we're going to try to break that up with time as well. It's just the wind we have to deal with now as the day rolls along and it's going to stick with us. Those strongest gusts are just about done, but 20 to 30 sustained mile per hour wind speeds that could still stick in place here. And then tomorrow a clipper system is going to follow suit and track just north of us, keeping those winds elevated once again on Saturday. But calm, sunny conditions will finally prevail and be back in play by Sunday. So check it out here again. As far as any precip and cloud cover goes, that is going to continue to clear up as we go through this evening through the overnight hours and into the start of your Saturday morning. But there is that clipper system crossing out of the Great Lakes into the Mid-Atlantic. Now we could have a few snow showers to the north and to the west of most of the four state regions. Some of those will drift in as we go through the day, but the main thing is that cold front will continue to bring up those wind speeds until we get into Sunday and then high pressure settles in. And speaking of, let's check it out. This afternoon we are looking at 20 to 30 mile per hour winds sustained, continuing in between systems. We're going to catch a very small break with those wind speeds calming down overnight into Saturday morning, but look how rapidly they come right back up again throughout the day tomorrow. More of the same 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, possibly seeing gusts up to 40 as we go throughout your Saturday afternoon. So we're starting to get on the other side of this thing, but the wind is going to be a nuisance straight through tomorrow with those spotty snow showers. Sunday again, sunny, calm, and then those temperatures start to go back up again early next week with our next chance of rainfall on Tuesday.